don't let the idea of, well, I didn't go to college or I'm self-taught slow you down at all. Outsider art is a really interesting com concept. There are several different definitions I've heard, but the gist of it is it was formed as a description for those who did not have formal education with art. And it's almost an excuse to just be bad. Like outsider art, some of it's kind of, no, it's just bad. I'm sorry, I just don't like it. I don't get it. If, if someone likes it, great. But what it seems to be is this excuse, and I see this so often, it's for self-taught artists, somebody who wasn't trained. I wasn't trained. I am self-taught. I'm doing the same stuff that, or better than a lot of people that came out of college. Going and getting a formal education in art does not guarantee you are going to be any good at art. You might be, but you were probably already good going into it. That is something, that, and the reason I'm bringing this up is some people limit themselves. They get discouraged thinking, well, I'm just a self-taught artist. That's not a bad thing. It doesn't really, it's not, it, it doesn't make a huge difference one way or another. Most of the most amazing, most of the most amazing artists, my grammar, my gosh, most amazing artists you see on Instagram, on wherever, online, on YouTube, most were self-taught. Some did have formal training, not that many. The vast majority of amazing artists out there are self-taught. Don't let the idea of, well, I didn't go to college or I'm self-taught slow you down at all. This is one of the best times in history, I think, to become an artist because there's so much, so many resources available to you. You've got lessons, Patreon lessons, $4 a month. You can get over 300 lessons right there. That would have been unheard of in the past. And even like back when videos, you did have videos out there, you were paying anywhere from 30 to $60 for a single lesson. So this is incredible, this time in history, all the free videos on YouTube. We've got books, we have so many resources. You do not have to have a formal education. You do not need to go to college. That is not what's going to determine whether you're good or not. I know so many artists who went to college and they're terrible at art, like terrible at art. So don't, and I don't just mean because they like a style I don't like, I mean they're trying to do realism and they're just bad at it. So that doesn't mean they can't be good, but going to college isn't the thing that's going to necessarily make the difference for you. So don't let this idea that I'm a self-taught artist or when you hear the term outsider, outside art, it's just it's so often an excuse, just kind of a cop out of, I don't have to put in the effort and learn how to do this well. If you want to be good at something, if you want, if realism is your thing, if you're interested in it, but you're like, eh, I'm never going to be that good. Don't don't limit yourself by that. You're the one limited. You're the reason that that idea is the reason you're not going to progress. But if you will, re, if you can realize I can accomplish anything, I can do anything. You will, you will get better. When I learned, I didn't even have lessons. I didn't have, like there were no online lessons. I'm old. Internet wasn't a thing when I was learning to paint. This was something that you just figure out with, with trial and error. You guys have it easier now because you can skip a lot of my error because you can watch a video and see how, oh, that's an easier way to layer things that that makes more sense there's nothing about being self-taught that should be holding you back like that concept isn't at all a hindrance to how good you can get